Hi, my name is Candice Cacchetti, and today I will be sharing with you a one hour long chair yoga sequence. The goal of class is to bring awareness to our breath and our bodies, so if anything feels uncomfortable for you to do, you're welcome to just sit back and relax and join back with us whenever you're ready. Um, I try to offer variations for the exercises and the poses as well. Uh, this class is very gentle, meditative, and restorative. You should be able to breathe fully and deeply at all times. And we're bringing awareness to our breath so that our minds are clear and we bring more clarity and healing to our lives. So we'll go ahead and begin bringing ourselves to a seated position, bringing the backs, our backs to the back of our chair, letting them rest, get nice and relaxed, nice and comfortable, feet are flat on the ground, our hands resting either on the tops of our legs or at our side. And go ahead and close your eyes. Bring that awareness to your body. If you feel any tension anywhere, any pain, send your breath, send healing and love to those areas. Send gratitude to those areas as well. So we're accepting ourselves just as we are, not how we could be or how we should be, but exactly how we are today in this moment. We're sending our bodies love, any of our limbs or any parts of our bodies that we don't like or that we judge, take a moment now to send love to them instead. Now bring awareness to your breath, to the present moment, the only moment truly where life exists. So without thinking about what we have to do later after class or this week or this year even or what we have already done or maybe not finished let's focus now on the present moment commit to this class commit your body your spirit and your mind so that you can create a healthier life a life full of love, joy, and peace. As you breathe in through your nose, mentally recite, in, I know I am breathing in. And as you exhale through your nose, mentally recite, out, I know I am breathing out. Let your breath fill every cell of your body, bringing that newly oxygenated blood all the way down to your fingers, to your toes. Feeling your body relax with every exhale. begin our class by inhaling, bringing our arms up overhead, bringing our palms together. And on the exhale, bringing your hands to heart center. Quickly rub the palms together, stimulating the nerve endings on the fingertips. And now press the palms firmly together, feeling that balance, finding your inner balance, dropping the shoulders, elbows are out to the side. Feeling the balance between the left and the right, sun and the moon, 
the male and the female energies. Feeling the vibration radiating at your heart center. We'll inhale one more time, bringing our arms up overhead, exhaling to heart center, and bringing our hands either on the tops of our legs or down at the side. So during class, we're going to work from head to toe. So I'll begin with some simple neck rolls, bringing first your left ear to your left shoulder and letting the right side of your neck open up creating a nice long line from your right ear to your right shoulder, dropping the shoulders and breathing into that space. Now we'll bring our head back to center and then we'll take our right ear to our right shoulder, now dropping the left shoulder and creating that space on the left side of the neck. Breathing deep. And from here, we'll take a front neck roll. So we'll bring our left ear back to our left shoulder and then switch sides, right ear to right shoulder. And we'll inhale as we come to the left and we'll exhale as we go to the right. If you'd like to take a full circle, you can go ahead and do that now. Dropping the head, massaging the thyroid, creating that fresh blood flow from your body and from your heart up into your face, into your mind. bring our head back to center and then we'll take a gaze up to the ceiling dropping the head back letting it hang heavy and breathe here and we'll take our gaze down now to the feet again letting the head hang inhaling and exhaling through the nose we'll bring our head back to center and from here we'll start working on our shoulders so we'll take some shoulder shrugs inhaling your shoulders up to your ears squeeze and exhale your shoulders down again inhale up and exhale down up and down Last time, we'll inhale up through the nose. We'll exhale with a sigh through our mouths. <sighs> Gonna from here, we'll take some shoulder rolls behind us. Inhale up and exhale down. Big circles with our shoulders, opening up the heart, opening up the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Now we'll switch directions, inhaling the shoulders up and forward and exhaling down. So during this class, you can keep your eyes closed if you would like. If you need to open your eyes to see an example of what I'm doing, you can. Then you can close them and go back inside of yourself, connect to your body and connect to your breath. We'll bring our arms out to the side now, palms facing forward. Inhale here. And with your right arm on top, give yourself a big hug, reaching back for your shoulder blades. Dropping the shoulders. Again, connecting to your breath. And if any thoughts enter your mind, 
during this class, which they will, that's normal, our minds do wander. Just acknowledge your thoughts without judgment. Simply let them go and come back to your breath, come back to the present moment. Good, we'll inhale, bring our arms back out to the side. Nice and wide, we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Now left arm is on top. Give yourself a nice big hug. When's the last time you gave yourself a hug? So we're practicing self-kindness and self-love. We're acknowledging ourselves for showing up to class today, for putting on our DVD, creating more awareness in our lives, creating a healthier life. Notice how the breath is entering the body in a different way, through the chest. Good, we'll bring our arms back up to the side. Now we'll take our right arm, we'll cross it in front of our body and take our left arm in front. And we'll stretch again that right shoulder and the right shoulder blade, drop that shoulder down and breathe here. We'll inhale, bring our arms back up to the side. Exhale, left arm comes across the body, right arm comes in front. Drop that left shoulder and breathe here. And now we'll take both arms back out once again, and we'll take our right arm, lifting it up in the air. Now if you can't get your arm all the way up, you can keep it to the side. And we'll take, um, if you can get your arm all the way up, we'll take it up and we'll bend at the elbow. So even if your arm is at the side, it would look like this. It would be just halfway up. You can also bring it to the side like this. That's a nice stretch as well. But again, if your elbow can get up to the ceiling, you can bring it up there and take your left hand, placing it on the elbow just to give it a nice extra stretch down the back and breathe here. Exhale, both arms down to the side. Then we'll inhale halfway or all the way up with our left arm, bringing our palm to the upper back. And then you can bring your right hand to the left elbow if you would like, a little extra stretch. release on an exhale, bringing both arms down. Again, just give your shoulders a little roll to the back, connecting to your breath, and bring them around to the front. So now we'll take our arms back out to the side, palms facing forward. We're going to do a cleansing breath. So we'll inhale through our nose, and on the exhale, the breath will sound like this through rounded lips. So we'll inhale, Exhale. So envision yourself cleansing your body, cleansing your body of anything negative, any negative thoughts, any negative energy. Release it now on the exhale. Really breathe that breath out through those lips. And on the inhale, Inhale through your nose that positivity, the joy, the love that you want to see in your life. Inhale that now through your nose, envisioning it going throughout your entire body. Keeping your elbows as straight as you can, parallel to the ground, opening that heart. Last time, inhale here. Exhale, bring your arms up overhead, press your palms together, stay here. And exhale, your arms down, your hands in prayer position at heart center. 
Now letting your hands hang at the side, just feel the energy settle. Feel the tingling in your fingertips. Your shoulders are down and back. Heart is open. Breath is long and deep. So we'll interlace our fingers now in front of us and we'll press our palms forward. Really stretch those fingers, stretch the shoulder blades apart as if someone is pulling your wrists from the front. Really get into that stretch. And if you can, bring your arms up, your palms facing the ceiling. If not, you can stay here in the center. Again, just stretching, lifting the heart. And we'll separate our hands now, keeping them up at about a 60 degree angle, shoulders down. We'll press our four fingers into the mounds of our hands, keeping our thumbs up. And from here, we'll take a figure eight motion just with our wrists. So it's like your thumb is leading you. Go ahead and close your eyes. Really focus on your breath. Focus on being mindful, not only in class today, but in all areas of your life. Bringing mindfulness and awareness to your life lets you live your life to the fullest. So you're really experiencing your life. You're not distracted. You're present to enjoy every little thing. Shoulders are dropped, elbows as straight as you can get them, breathing deep through your nose and out through your nose. Almost there, just a few more deep breaths. And again, inhale, either bringing your arms all the way or leaving them halfway can't bring them all the way up and exhale your hands down to heart center and bringing your hands to the tops of your legs now drop your shoulders sit for a moment with your eyes closed again feeling the energy settling in the body taking a moment to be grateful for your arms grateful for your shoulders your wrists and your fingers We'll continue working down the body. So we'll scoot up a little bit in the chair for our heart opener. So we can either interlace our hands um, behind us, like this, behind us, or you can grab onto the arms of the chair, whatever's comfortable. Our feet are about hip width distance apart. And we're gonna begin by dropping our shoulders down and back, lifting the heart out and up, gazing slightly up toward the ceiling, and breathing here, nice and deep, through the nose and out through the nose. Feeling your physical heart expand, making more room for blood to flow through your body. And also feeling your spiritual heart expand as well, creating more room for love, for peace, for gratitude in your heart so that you can receive that and you can give that as well. And we'll take our gaze down to our feet, keeping our hands where they are. Do a counter pose. Feel the shoulders roll forward, the head hang heavy, and breathe here. Take another heart opener, same thing, coming back up, lifting that heart out and up, dropping the shoulders down and back, feeling the breath enter through your lungs, enter through your heart. And we'll 
take the gaze down, now at the feet. Letting the head hang heavy. Opening up the shoulder blades. And we'll bring ourselves back to center. So we'll take our spinal twist from here. So you can either leave your feet flat on the ground or you can cross your right leg over your left. And we'll take our left hand, bring it on the outside of our right leg, grab the chair with your right hand, and begin by inhaling and lengthening your spine nice and tall. And then we'll exhale and we'll twist, gazing over our right shoulder. So with every exhale, see if you can go a little bit deeper into that twist. Surrender to your body in that stretch and surrender to your breath. So this pose is great for digestion. It's creating that digestive fire within. And we'll take ourselves back to center. And we'll release our feet, bringing now our left leg on top of the right, or you can keep both feet on the ground. And now taking our right hand to the outside of our left leg, and we'll grab the chair with our left hand. Begin again by dropping the shoulders and lifting the spine nice and tall. Inhale here and exhale, gazing over the left shoulder. back to center, bringing our feet and our hands down. So we'll continue working down the body. We'll place our hands on the tops of our legs. Our feet are about hip width distance apart. And we'll uh, take our Sufi grinds or our pelvic rotations. So we'll go to the left first on the inhale and we'll come around. And on the exhale, we'll come behind. So inhaling to the left and exhaling behind. And really exaggerate that motion. Really get into the lower back. So our body holds certain emotions in different areas. And our body holds fear in our kidneys. So right now, we're letting that go. We're massaging those kidneys. We're releasing that fear. And we're releasing any tension in our lower back. opposite side. So we'll begin with an inhale now to the right and around to the left. Now see if you can bring your head down with you a little bit, creating an even more open stretch in the back. Again, any fear, the anger you're feeling, envision that being released from your body now.
connecting to your breath, keeping your mind focused and clear so that your life is focused and clear. Last time, bring yourself around to the front and behind on the exhale. And bring yourself to center now. Keeping your hands where they are, we're gonna take a seated cat cow. Um, we're gonna take our hands to the knees and we're gonna try to keep our elbows as straight as we can during this exercise. And we're gonna lift from the heart. So we'll inhale and we'll drop our shoulders and lift the heart forward. And then we'll exhale, bringing our heart back and our shoulders forward. So inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now you can take this posture, this exercise, as quickly or as slowly as you would like. Whatever your body needs. If you need to stay in one position for a few breaths, you can. Or if you want to pump it really quickly, you can also do that. Whatever your body needs. We're all unique. We all have different needs. And it's up to us to bring awareness to our body so that we can listen to that. We can take care of ourselves. says our age is not measured by the number of years but by the flexibility in our spine so we can live without our limbs we can live without our legs or our arms even but we really cannot live without our spine so we're bringing pure fresh blood now through our body so we're clearing it through our spine this is a pure blood purification that we're doing here you can do this up to 22 minutes. The full exercise is inhaling and holding the breath as you pump the spine back and forth and then exhaling so you don't stop moving, but you hold the breath on the inhale. But we're just taking long, deep breaths now. Keeping the elbow straight opening up the back, opening up the spine, cleansing our bodies from the inside out. And last time, bringing ourselves up on the inhale and back on the exhale and bringing ourselves to center. So we'll take a sun salutation. So that's inhaling our arms all the way up or halfway. Exhaling to heart center. Inhaling halfway with the arms and exhaling a small forward fold. And then we'll bring ourselves right back up to center. So we'll take that one more time. Inhaling our arms all the way or halfway. Exhaling to heart center. Inhaling our arms halfway, and then slowly taking a forward fold in front. And then bringing ourselves back up to center. So we'll continue working down the body. We'll work the side body now. So bringing yourselves up a little bit more in your chair, we're gonna do a side angle stretch. So we'll bring our left arm to our left leg, and we'll first begin by opening up our heart and opening up the shoulder. So we'll bring that right shoulder back toward the chair. And then from here, if it's available to you, you can take your right arm up in the air. If not, if that's not comfortable, you can, you can uh, keep your pose where you were in the beginning just by opening your heart and then you can keep your arm down. So breathe here into the right side of the body Feel your ribs expand, feel the breath going to the ribs, into the lungs. And coming back up to center. And we'll take the same pose opposite side. Right arm on the right leg. First, open up that heart, bring that left shoulder to the chair. 
And then you can either stay here or you can bring your left arm up in the air. Breathing deep. Creating more room for your breath and your body. And bringing yourself back to center. We're gonna take the same thing one more time on each side. So again, left arm on the leg, right arm coming up or staying down. See if you can go a little bit farther this time with the stretch. And we'll bring ourselves back to center, bringing the right arm down, opening up the left shoulder, arm coming up or staying down, seeing if you can take your body even farther this time. Breathing deep. And we'll take ourselves back to center. So from here, we'll bring our feet a little bit closer together now. And we'll bring our arms out to the side, palms facing down. From here, we'll take the motion going from right to left, keeping the spine tall and the arms out parallel to the floor. Breathing in and exhaling to the right, inhaling to the left, exhaling to the right. So feel how your breath kind of automatically comes in and automatically goes out as you move your body in this way. there one last time to the left and to the right and come to center and drop your arms down just sit for a moment letting yourself feel the tingling in your fingertips the openness in your lungs and your ribs your shoulders down and back down the body. So we'll start with our leg exercises. So we're going to start with just a simple forward fold first. So bring yourselves uh, forward in the chair, bringing your legs out in front of you as straight as you can get them. And then slowly we're going to bend forward. We're going to start with a straight spine, dropping our shoulders down, and then slowly go forward, sliding your hands down your legs. And whenever you find a nice stretch. See if you can go a little bit farther. Breathe into the stretch and hold here. Slowly roll the body back up. We're going to inhale, bring our arms either all the way or halfway. Exhale your hands to heart center. We're going to take the same thing one more time. See if you can go a little bit deeper this time. So sliding the hands down your legs. See if we can get closer to the toes. And breathe here. slowly bring yourselves back up, rolling your back, vertebrae by vertebrae, bending the knees, dropping the shoulders, and letting the head come up last. So we'll take our stretch now for, for the sciatica. So we'll bring first our right leg, our right foot on top of the left leg. If that's not available to you, you can cross the legs in front, if that's more comfortable. You can, But if you can, get your right foot on top of your left leg, flex those toes, and try to get your knee as parallel to the ground as you can. And 
from here, we'll take our spine nice and tall, stretching our shoulders down and back, and we'll stretch forward, bending slowly. You don't have to go too far and you'll really start to feel that stretch in the outer right hip. And go as far as is comfortable for you, keeping those toes flexed, and then go a little deeper with that exhale. Challenge yourself without overdoing it. You'll be so surprised at how far your body can go when you just breathe into that space and you allow it to go to that length. slowly now from the stretch and we'll bring our right leg over to the left if it's not already crossed to release that stretch and from here sit up nice and tall with your shoulders down and back and rotate that right foot in one direction and in the opposite direction and from here before putting our leg back down on the ground, we'll take our knee up. So we'll hold it with our palms and really make this an arm stretch. So get in there with the arms, really engage the muscles, pull the shoulder blades together and breathe here. one more exercise before putting the leg down. We're going to kick it out in front of us, keeping the toes flexed. If you need to support yourself under your leg, you can. If you'd like to be hands-free using the core muscles, you can go for that as well. So just breathe here. And we'll release. And just walk out your legs here. We'll take the same sequence on the opposite side. So we'll bring now our left leg either crossed or our left foot on top of the right leg. Flex the toes on the left foot. Begin by lengthening your spine, dropping your shoulders and slowly bending forward. Again, see if you can go a little bit deeper on every exhale. Breathe into your hip and it will open up a little bit more. crossing the legs if they're not already crossed and rotating that left foot in one direction and the opposite direction sending our ankles and our feet and our toes love they support so much of our weight really all of our weight up again, using the arms to really engage the muscles, opening up that left hip, breathing here, and taking the leg out in front, either supporting yourself underneath the leg, or hands free using the core to keep your leg lifted. Breathing deep. And 
we'll place our foot back on the ground. So we'll do one more pose before doing a few standing postures. We're gonna do chair pose. So from here, we'll take our feet about as wide as the chair legs, about hip width distance apart. We'll bring our hands out in front of us, palms facing each other. We'll keep our spine nice and tall. We'll hinge forward at the lower back. And from here, we'll gaze slightly up toward the ceiling and we'll engage all of our muscles. So it's as if you're gonna stand up. So push your heels into the ground, push the balls of your feet into the ground, squeeze your elbows together, squeeze your fingertips, breathe. And release, coming back, placing your hands on the tops of your legs. We're gonna do that one more time, just taking a rest in between. Again, bringing the arms out in front, palms facing each other. Hinge at the lower back, keeping the spine nice and tall, gazing up at the ceiling slightly, and now engage all of your muscles. Squeeze, 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 like you're gonna stand up, but don't stand up. Squeezing the elbows together. Pushing the heels into the ground, and release on an exhale. Bringing the hands back under your legs, taking a moment to close your eyes, to center yourself. A few deep breaths. And we'll come to our standing position. So we'll come to the right side of our chair first. And we'll start with some simple leg lifts. So we'll start by bringing our right leg up in front. And uh, as you're balancing on your left leg, keep the knee a little bit soft. Keep it a little bit bent so that you're not overextended, extending the knee. And lift that leg. It doesn't matter if it's an inch off the ground, that's good enough. Make it nice and light to use your core to get the leg up. And without stopping now, take the leg lift to the side, trying to see if you can not touch the ground on your way down. And without stopping, let's take that leg lift to the back. You can point or flex the toe, whatever is more comfortable for you. Again, try not to touch the floor on your way down. And we'll bring the foot down and walk it out. And from here, we'll stay on the right side of our chair. We'll bring our uh, body to again balance on the left leg bringing our weight over but keeping the knee slightly bent we're going to take tree pose this is a great pose for balance so outer balance and inner balance as well so you can either keep your right toes on the ground you can keep them at your ankle your shin or all the way up to your inner thigh you just want to avoid keeping it right at the knee you want to avoid that pressure on the knee so whatever you're comfortable with and then we'll bring our right arm up in the air. Your left arm can either stay on the chair. You can maybe challenge yourself and bring a few fingers off the chair, maybe balance with one on the chair. Eventually, we're gonna get both of our hands up in tree pose. You're gonna find that balance. You're gonna find your inner balance. Finding a point either in front of you or maybe on the ceiling that doesn't move, that is also very helpful with keeping your balance. And we'll bring either one or both arms down and slowly release the foot, walking it out now. And we'll come on over to the left side of the chair for the same sequence. So we'll begin with our leg lifts to the front. So a slight bend in that right knee Hand, right hand on the chair, and left leg coming up, nice and light. Again, 
Again, even if you come an inch off the ground, that's good enough. Your best is always good enough. And without stopping now, let's take our leg out to the side. take our leg lift to the back now. Again, um, flexing or pointing your toes, whatever is comfortable. Keeping a slight bend in your right knee. And walking it out now. And we'll do tree pose now on the left side. So balancing on your right leg, slightly bent in the knee, bringing your toes either to keep them on the floor, to bring them up to your ankle, shin, or inner thigh. We'll want to avoid the knee. And then we'll bring our left arm up, or both arms. Again, challenging yourself without overdoing it. Drop the shoulders, feel grounded in your roots, grounded in your foot while nice and open in your branches. So opening up yourself to receive so that you may give, feeling grounded so that you can lead a life of love, of truth, and of gratitude. Finding your inner balance rejoicing in all of the blessings in your life at this moment. And bringing your arm down and your leg down. And walking it out. And we'll bring our cells to the back of our chair. We'll take our feet wide and we'll bring our uh, toes to opposite, face opposite walls. So our right toes out and our left toes out. And we're gonna do goddess pose. So from here, you can either keep your hands on the chair if you'd like, or you can bring your hands up, your palms facing forward. So from here, we're gonna bend at the knees, but we're not gonna let our knees go past our ankles, no more than 90 degrees. And then again, you can keep your hands here or bring your palms up. Tilt your pelvis forward, keeping your spine nice and tall, and breathe here, using your legs to keep you down. Bringing your hands now to the chair, we're gonna go up, but not locking the knees, so keeping them slightly bent on the inhale, and exhale down, inhale, Work those inner thighs. And last time, we're gonna hold it down there. Breathe here. And bring yourself back up. Now we're gonna keep our feet where they are, except we're gonna turn our left toes toward me. We're going to keep our right toes facing the right wall. And we're going to bring our um, right arm up. You can bring your left arm up as well, or you can keep it on the chair if you need it for balance. We're going to do warrior two pose. So from here, we're going to bend our right knee, but again, no more than 90 degrees. You want it to be parallel. You don't want it to be um, going over your ankle. And your left leg is straight behind you arms as parallel to the ground as you can get them, looking over both of your shoulders, see if they're in a nice straight line, holding here, breathing deep. And bring your hands to the chair, straighten the right leg, and face the toes toward me, and then bring your left toes toward the left wall, 
Again, bringing your left arm only or both arms up. Nice and parallel to the ground. Bend that left knee no more than 90 degrees, keeping the right leg straight. Gaze over your left fingertips and breathe here. back to the chair, they're not already there, straightening the left leg, pointing the toes forward and walking your feet together, just walking it out behind the chair for a moment. And we're going to keep our feet together now behind the chair. We're going to keep our hands on the chair and come up onto our tiptoes and then back down on our heels. So a good pose for leg circulation. So I'm going to go ahead and count but you can go at your own pace. So if you do this at home by yourself, uh, 26 times is a good number to start with and then you can go up from there. You can also place your hands on a wall, press into the wall. Uh, it's again, very good for circulation in your legs. If you get Charlie horses at all, this one will really help with that. Almost there, just a few more times. Continuing to breathe through your nose and out through your nose, connecting to your breath. And we'll walk it out behind the chair. And from here, we'll step uh, to the side of our chair you can, you can stay behind if you have the room, or you can step to the side. We'll bring our legs wide, feet facing forward, bringing our arms out to the side, palms facing forward. We'll just begin to twist. So inhale to the left and exhale to the right. Doesn't matter so much about form here. Just let yourself open up. Let your body move. Create that heat within your body, but also feel how the cool air blows around you, bringing in that energy to your body, the positive energy to your life, being grateful for a healthy spine. bend at the knees and we're going to grab. We're going to grab alternating arms right and left, right and left. So really get into the motion. Use your waist, twisting at the core. Bring into your life whatever it is that is right there in front of you. So envision all the health, all the wealth, the abundance right in front of you and your it's an arm's reach. You're grabbing it with ease and pulling it back into your life. Get the shoulders in there. Bring those elbows back. And last time, both arms come out in front. Grab. Pull back nice and slow, engaging the arm muscles. Bring the elbows behind the ribs. Breathe here and release. 
We'll come to the back of our chair now for our three minute keep up. So our three minute keep up is our challenging exercise that we do at the end of our class. Um, it's for three minutes, of course. It's more of a mind over matter challenge. Um, your arms are up here and you're going at about 15 degrees up and 15 degrees down. And you're gonna do it for three minutes. So bringing your arms up, palms facing down, begin to flap your wings like a little bird trying to fly. So really connect to your breath. Now you can close your eyes if you'd like. You can count if that helps. So you're not gonna get hurt doing this. You might feel like you are, it feels challenging, but the pain or the sensation will go away right when you stop this exercise. You're not gonna not be able to sleep at night. So breathing deep, keep those arms as straight as you can get them. Pumping with the arms. Breathing deep, even though the motion is fast, the breath is still steady. smile on your face, not taking it too seriously. You're not going to get hurt, I promise. You're building strength, you're building stamina, and you're releasing fear. So again, this is a mind over matter. You can do anything for three minutes. Your arms aren't going to fall off. You're not going to get hurt. Keep those arms up. Even if you stop pumping, keep those arms up. And even if you do have to put them down, just bring them right back up. It's not about how many times that we fall or give up. It's about how fast we can get back up. So keeping those arms up, you can do it. We're almost there. Breathing deep through your nose. Telling your mind that you can do it. You can keep those arms up and not letting it tell your body that it's gonna give up or that it's not strong enough because it is. Keep those arms up. Working up a sweat, moving the body, strengthening the body. And if it really becomes almost unbearable, Really pump harder with the arms, get that energy going. You'll get to a place where it really feels impossible and then you'll kind of have a second wind and it'll kind of seem easier. That's where you want to get to, just like in life. You want to get to that other side. When things seem impossible, get to that other side and things that seemed impossible one time seem easy. Almost there. Good, and we'll end with an inhale, bringing our arms out. You're gonna give someone a big hug. And exhale, your arms down at the side. Close your eyes, stand with your arms hanging at your side. Feel the energy settling. Your arms didn't fall off, they just got stronger. Your mind got stronger and your breath got stronger. Feeling the tingling sensation in your fingertips. down for our final resting pose in our meditation. So coming back onto the chair, just like in the beginning of class, come into a seated position, your feet flat on the ground, hands either dangling at your side or placed on the top of your legs. Rest your back into the chair. Drop your shoulders and close your eyes. Begin to bring that same awareness back to your body. How does it feel now after class? How different does it feel from the beginning of class? How does your mind feel 
Does it feel more clear, more centered and balanced? And your breath, do you have more room for your breath now in your lungs? Do you have more room in your heart for love, gratitude? How do you feel about your own body? Are you able to show it more love instead of judgment? So letting the body rest and recuperate and restore is just as important as the exercises that we just did. So again, acknowledge your body for being able to do what it could today, even if you couldn't do every posture or exercise. We're still grateful that we're able to turn on this DVD, to sit down in a chair, to calm our bodies and to calm our minds. So your head is relaxed, the muscles in your face are relaxed, your jaw and your chin. Your neck is completely relaxed, going down to your shoulders, they're dropped down and back. Your breath is moving now through your heart and your chest and your lungs. Down into your belly, down to the tops of your legs, your legs getting heavier on the chair, the breath now going down through your calves and your shins. Going to your ankles, to your heels, to the arch in your foot. And all the way down to your toes and your toenails. Everything is relaxed. Every cell in your body is relaxed. You're connecting to your breath and to the present moment. You're connecting to your true state. That you're not letting the world around you or the people around you write your story. You're connecting to your inner truth, to who you really are. Not what you do for a living, or how much money you make or how many things you have but just by simply existing and being, you are more than enough. So we'll take our left hand in front of our heart in a cupped position, bringing our right hand over the left, bringing them both right up to heart center your gaze is down at your hands and your breath is in through the nose and out through the mouth. Feeling the breath on the hands. Letting any negative thoughts or energy come to mind. Letting them surface. So that you can bring awareness to them and let them go. This meditation on the negative mind can be done for up to 22 minutes. So we'll end class.
class today by bringing our arms up overhead or halfway, inhaling here, bringing our palms together, exhaling your hands to heart center, rubbing the palms once again together, bringing energy back to the body, pressing the palms firmly together, elbows out to the side, thumbs pressed into the sternum, breathing through the nose and out through the nose, feeling the vibration at your heart center, feeling that gratitude just radiating from your heart, the love, the health, the abundance radiating from your body. Thank you for joining me in class today. Namaste.